Today I'll be speaking about lighting and what the lighting schedule I use for my reef aquarium. Now just before this video starts, um, all the there's loads of different light schedules out there. This is the light schedule I tend to use, which I think that it number one gives really good colour in the coals. Number two, it gives the coal brilliant fast growth. Okay, let's get into this video. So hello guys, welcome back to another Seki Tree video. Okay, so the light I use on my aquarium is the AI Prime HD. It's not the new version because there is a new version now, the AI Prime H 16 HD I think. I think it is, yeah, 16 HD. Yes, um, so I don't have the latest version but I have the AI Prime HD. It's actually a really, really good light still. You can control the light from an iPhone or an Android, um, depending on what phone you have, of course. You can get the app, which is called My AI, and and it's free. You just download the app, you connect it to your light. There you have it. You have successfully connected your light. So once you've connected your light and everything's up and running, and you've tested every, everything, I guess, that's when you start making a light schedule. Now one thing to recommend is people might be saying that their coals are not growing, my coals are not really looking as quite as good, I keep on trying to change the lighting to see if it will make any difference. Well that's the problem. Changing lighting will stress the coals out even more if you've, if you've just, instead of just leaving the lighting as it is. If you set it and forget it, your coals won't have much changes in the light and get used to that light schedule, which then they'll start to look amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna launch up the app on my phone and see what the lighting schedule I personally use for the AI Prime HD. Okay, so now I have got the phone up on the screen. Um, so if I just go onto my AI app and then click my um, light, so I called it Seki's Reef, um, you can set a password for it. So let me quickly just type in the password and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just put in the password and now it brings you to the home page. You can have a little profile picture if you really want to. I took a picture of my ACAN and the mushroom in the background. So now you can see the first three options is schedule, all on or all off. So you can, so schedule means that your work, the light is working to your schedule. All on means it's just working to your manual part and all off means all the lights are off. So if you go into control, it loads, there we go. Um, this is my schedule. So you can see that you've got the manual mode. So you can change each channel manually or you've got the schedule mode, which most of you will use because it's because it's way easier. So you can see on my schedule at around 9.50, 10 a.m. the light starts to ramp up and it gets to its maximum at 11 a.m. So it ramps up over an hour. Then it dips down a little bit, goes back up. And then it goes, and then the UV's up, but then the blue's a bit down etc etc until you get to about five o'clock and it goes into all blues so there's not much white anymore but there's blue and this is when the coals are normally really colorful and then at about about 7 30 it starts ramping down and ends about 9 p.m so that is my light schedule don't really go over 12 hours each day if you do more than that, you start getting quite a bit of algae. 
Um, I'm pretty sure my one is 11 hours. Okay, so how do you really make a schedule? So, so you've got a blank canvas. All you need to do is click Easy Setup. And then you can choose when to have your light up. So I, I normally have my UV 119, violet 116, royal blue 122, blue 111. So I pretty much put them all the way to the max. My green and deep red, 10%, and white, 15%. It's actually, it actually says 16%, but 15%. I normally have it around 15% of course so then what all you need to do now is just hit done it creates a simple schedule you can add dips and dobs into it what are dobs ignore me please I got this idea from a person called David Saxby who has an amazing reef tank down in London most of you've probably heard of him he is really good so I kind of got that idea from him so credit to him so to add dips and dobs dip, dips in your um, schedule you can go to say about 12 10 you want a little dip all you do is click add and then you can dip your your lighting a bit down see click done see it makes a little dip then maybe at 210 click add and it all goes back up to about normal so you can see I made some kind of little dip and say about five o'clock I go into all blues if you want to make an all blues section so I normally do it at 5 p.m. so all you need to do is get to 5 p.m. and then click add and then all you're going to do is just reduce your cool white by about to about two or three percent. Click done. So now your cool white is down to two or three percent. You can also edit it and maybe bring down, you know, the UV and that. Bring it all down because it, it's getting more to, you know, night time. So it's all blue. So you can kind of see and you might want to do it at here as well because it spikes back up. So if I just bring it all down. This is a bit rough, but you can do it a bit more better than me when you actually do your light schedule. I'm just gonna do that for now. So you can kind of see it starts to ramp down in, in all blues. So it's nice and blue. But then in the daytime, it's got white in it. So it's like white sunlight. And then the blue's going down tonight. So on the next tab, it's got the parents and child. So say if you have another AI prime light, you can set that one as a child light and then connect it to the parents. So it kind of links together and controls together. I don't really have any other lights, so it's just one parent. So I'm gonna go on to the next tab. So in the next tab is the effects. So you can actually have a lunar effect, which means basically moon phases so you can have the lunar effect it can be the start time so the start time will have to be your sunset and then the end time will have to be your sunrise so let me say my sunset's about nine o'clock my nine nine p.m of course and then my sunrise is about 10 so 10 a.m and now that said, if you go back onto here, all you need to do now is add a little bit of blue. So there we go, 1% blue. All the way to here. 1% blue. You might want to have actually 2 or 3% blue so it can do the moon phases. Luna basically means that, the, that there's moon phases. So where if it's a full moon it will be the brightest lunar phase if it's like a no if it's a new moon 
it will be completely dark. So that's what the lunar effect is. I don't have the lunar effect on, so I turn that off. You have the weather effect. Basically, the weather effect is you can add light in in your aquarium. I don't know why they added this, but you can do it if you want. I don't really want to do that because I don't really want to scare my fishes, but it can simulate the storms that you can have in the ocean. You, you could maybe use it if you're having like a Halloween special schedule for your aquarium. I don't know why you would do that, but then there's like lightning striking everywhere. That would look kind of cool, but I do not have this on. And the last effect is acclimatization. So you normally use it when you, maybe you're first getting the light or you change between light schedules, like I said, not to do at the start. You can do it every once in a while if you really want to change it. You want to do it slowly though. So you can add the acclimatization mode, like for example, when I, when I reduced pretty much all the white in my light, I did that because I had algae. So when I wanted to bring the white light back up, I didn't want to do it like instantly. I wanted to do it slowly. So you can see that you can reduce all the lighting, um, reduce all the lighting by how much you can reduce it by 100%. So what I did, I just kept everything as 50%, put it to 100% and switched back to my old schedule. And that was all before the lights went on. So then, Everything kind of feels the same, but it's my other schedule, which will slowly ramp up the white. So it will be not as a shock. So you can change between how long it would take for the acclimatization to work. But yeah, that's basically the effects. Then the last tab is um, the settings. So you can set your password here, your, the date and time, the network, which will be blurred out the drop can, indicator lead, your tank name, the serial number, and all of that stuff. You can actually save presets, so you can have multiple light schedules. Um, I have two different presets. I have the Secchi's Reef Algae Issue preset, so I change it to that and it reduces the white, like I said, and then the just the normal Secchi's Reef light schedule that I use. So I can just click this, click OK, and everything's back to normal. So you can have one good look at this light schedule. Um, it comes up about, like I said, 10 and then it ends at nine. This is the light schedule I use. You can find a light schedule that your tank likes or whatever you like it to be. It just has to be the right spectrum. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this Seki Reef video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, make sure to give a like and subscribe. Anyway, that's all for today. Hopefully you found this informative. Thank you for watching this video and happy reefing guys.